Whether on land or in the air, security forces for the upcoming State of the Nation address of President Ferdinand Marcus Jr. have all bases covered. From potentially using water cannons, container vans, and barbed wires, authorities will exploit all legal means available to ensure the historic event is not marred by unruly protesters. Ryan Lesigas has the full details. 22,000 policemen and force multipliers will be deployed on Monday to secure the first State of the Nation address of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. In addition to the pro-Marcos group, which was allowed to conduct a program in front of President Aquino Elementary School on Ivy Per Road, the PNP is also waiting if the leftist group will also be allowed to hold a protest outside freedom parks such as QCMC, UP and CHR grounds. Systems go na tayo sa inspection na sa preparation. Kaya lang, may minor adjustments kasi nag-approve ang LGU tungkol sa Pro Marcos to conduct rally. And currently, they are now deliberating yung, uh, yung kung igagrant yung reapplication ng uh, anti-Marcos. The PNP reminds the pro and anti-administration groups uh, to stay only in the places where they are allowed to hold their mass actions. Maximum tolerance is, uh, uh, will be exercised. Ano? But uh, whenever there are clear violations of law right in front of our noses, we don't have any recourse except to apprehend or restrain. PNP Director for Operation Police Major General Val de Leon also reminded the protesters to follow the public minimum health standards to prevent the spread of COVID-19. The PNP says they can use water cannons if the rally has become violent. Pag makita natin na uh, uh, ang sabi ng Department of Health that uh, merong pagmamalabis sa health protocols ay uh, baka hingin ang uh, ating pwersa para uh, ano yun sila, pag-observahin uh, sila nitong health protocols, we will disperse them. Meanwhile, as part of the security measures, the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, or CAAP, will implement a no-fly zone from tomorrow, July 23 to 25 for all unauthorized and unmanned aerial vehicles within 5 nautical miles from the Batasan Pambasa complex. Ryan Lee Siges for The Nation.